All right, welcome in, everyone. Welcome in, Charlie. We're gonna be continuing with Black Mesa today. Let us get up to some questionable ethics, shall we? All right. We just got into the uh into the labs here. <laughs> what even are ethics? So, do any of these buttons work? That was uh that was the the sleeping gas, definitely. He's he's just taking a little nap. Yeah, he's fine. He's just taking a little nap. This is definitely one of my more favorite levels in this game. For many reasons. Oh, is that launching? Oh, it's launching the little dudes, little guys. I forget their names. Did I break it? Hmm. Emergency te- Ah, I see. In case they, uh... In case they don't die. I get it. Alright. Oh, strange. Is it... is it working now? Seems a minute or two more. Ah, okay. Sounds like Twitch just being Twitch, then. Classic Twitch L. What do we have here? Bunch of nerdy bullshit. That's what this is. Oh no. No, oh, it's one of those things. Let's see what this button does. Uh, did you see it? Did you see him, chat? The man. It was he. Well, just vaporized him, huh? Didn't even leave a toasty body. Oh, we got the cro the crossbow back. Let's go. Now I'm just missing my beautiful shotgun. Your router's firewall is whack, Charlie. Whack ass firewall. Damn. I hope he at least got that last piss in. Well, maybe it's about time you set up that account. Is that a live individual? My god. 
Hey, hey, buddy. It ain't no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding out somewhere in the labs. Maybe with the both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out of here. Sounds good to me. Let's get the hell out of here. You got any goodies back here? Any goodies for the Freeman? Nah. Just a nerd equipment. Ooh. Something tells me... Monster didn't get him. Hmm. Or maybe they did and it just smashed his face into the wall. Hmm. Well, that's irritating. So basically, it's going to be just a massive pain in the ass for you. Hey, what does sign say? Superbus Latin. Oh. Foreigners. Foreigner? This man doesn't know what Latin is. Did you not hear your buddy get domed? Okay. Ah, oh, my beautiful shotgun. Is this a... <laughs> Uh, this is, this is set in glorious New Mexico. I guess the average person these days probably doesn't even know what Latin is. Well, we couldn't just have two Mexicos. Or could we? Mexico 2, Electric Boogaloo. Where'd that guard go? He really just ditched me, didn't he? Mmm, grapes. That's totally what those are. Uh? Oh, really? You're just, you're, what's, what's unoriginal about New York or New Mexico? Exchanging ideas is a two-way process. Hmm. Why is... Why is his shirt so... Terribly... Made. Slash photoshopped. Maybe someone drew on this with marker. <laughs> yeah, he got MS painted on. Push all the buttons. See, that's the Tesla discharge. We'll save that. We'll be saving that. Ah, the screaming doggos. Something or whiskers. 
do wish this was a little higher resolution. I do actually like reading this stuff. Hmm. Ah, the Vortigons. It might be. For all I for all I know, it might be. This kind of remind me of the Chucklefish logo. I hope your buddy's just around that corner. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd your friend go? Oh. You absolute fool. Oh, I'm out of here. I ain't getting a fucking... I'm not getting between that. Oh, shit. Hey, walk into that. Ow. Perfect. Perfectly planned. Calculated. How dare you. Thinking you could get into a shotgun battle with the Gord of Rima. Look at them. They're just vibing in their natural habitat. Hmm, we'll check that door on the way back. Not even administer the morphine, how dare you? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the boogs! It's the little friendos! Excellent. So what number are they on? They're on number five. So we gotta we gotta find something to put in there. Or maybe not. Ah, more boogs. Look at that. Some extra electrolytes. You're my friend now. We're getting soft tacos later. I really want to find an enemy to use these on. Restored. Giving us so much ammo. Can't even use it all. Alright, let's check into Lab B. I assume that's what this is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey. Go, my sons. Yes. No. I'm your father. How dare you turn against me? Shot. 
Oh, there's another one of you. Okay. You get both barrels. What do we have here? Ah. Alright, I think we gotta turn on another one of these. My memory serves. Ooh, nice model jet. Is that a Harrier? No. Is it? It's got that sort of hairier profile. Charlie, you know your planes. What do you think this is? Hmm. Some sort of marine jet. Oh! Tau Cannon. With... Doom 2 door sound effects. Alright, one second. We just gotta turn on this laser, then we can go look at the blade again. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that's ammo. Yeah, okay. The little boxes are ammo for this. But yeah, here, here is plan. I pick it up. It won't let me pick up the plane. I figured it was a Harrier. It, it it had that chunkiness. I just wasn't completely sure. So what's the Tau Cannon on? It's on number three, okay. I think we might need to hit another two of these. Yeah, okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. What an asshole. Wow. Dick move. Next enemy we see, we'll, uh, we'll use the Tau Cannon on them. What we got here? More chips. More Quavers cheese flavor. Delicious. Hmm. I like that. I, li I like the, uh... Legally distinct branding. Oh, that's a lot of streaming dogs. Oh, shit. Uh. Fuck it, we'll use the Tau Cannon. That was way more dogs than I was expecting. Okay, maybe I shouldn't stand in that. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, it took a minute to turn on. Big cannon. So obviously we're gonna first test fire it the regular way. Beautiful. And now, now we turn off the shield. These 
please do anything? No. Alright, once more. Order Freeman, tear down that wall! We, we do a little trolling. We, we get up to some shenanigans here. Oh yes, the furnace. What's cooking? Mmm. Smells like pork. A fellow scientist. Oh, thank God. Get us out of here before those military drones figure out where we're hiding. We all have retinal scanner access. If you escort us to the lobby, we can finally get out of this damn lab. Yes, but you'll have to shut down the surgical unit first. That fool Peter switched it on. But... I'm afraid he never made it back. Why did he turn it on in the first place? <laughs> what an idiot. What do we got here? Linux Cola. Charlie, what are your thoughts on this soda? Would you drink it? <laughs> Would you take a sip of the Linux Cola? All right, we're gonna make a little quick save here. Be careful with that surgical machine. Those whirling blades can dismember and disembowel you like a. Not gonna finish that sentence. You know what? It's probably for the best you don't finish that sentence. Okay. Easy peasy. Nice work, Doc. Yes. Oh, now you decide to show up. All right, Where were you before, huh? Just, just calmly waiting in a safe spot. Should probably be running ahead. Just in case. Which way are we going, actually? Okay. Yes, hello? Oh dear. We good? Wait, wait. What? what? What is it? Anyone else think this was a bit too easy? Something's not right. Gordon, you don't mind taking a look, do you? Sure thing. We'll stay here for a moment. I'll cover them. Oh, I forgot how good the crossbow is against the soldiers. These trank darts sure pack a punch. Ooh, got more crossbow bolts. Uh, why don't you... Not fire in the hole. Oops. Ah, there's some boys up there. Get tranked, idiots. Nice. I'd say that went pretty well. You know, it's, it's all in a day's work for the Gord Freem.
You'll have to sneak in quite a bit. Yeah, you you keep chatting. I'm just gonna grab supplies. Somehow survive long enough to make it across the base. You find the labs where the rest of the science team is taking shelter. I couldn't dare risk venturing out there, but I can inform those of us who remain in the Lambda complex that you are coming. Now, don't go running pell mell into this bloody war zone. Even with that suit, the odds are stacked against you. If you simply stay out of sight and listen to me, you may just live to see the Lambda Labs. Well, partner, afraid this is where we part ways. You know, uh, you know, you know you're not holding your gun, right? You take care of yourself out there. You know, you know your gun's in your holster. Okay. <laughs> it really looked like he was holding an invisible gun there. Gordon, maybe if you... Oh, right, I forgot that he just fucking gets burnt. Five seconds out the door. Something is lighting me the hell up. I see. Absolute assholes. That's what we call a dick move. Well, there goes all my health and, uh, and juice. Damn, I don't think the insurance will cover that one. Okay, I'm guessing that's the way I need to go. Let's see if there's some supplies out here. Station wagon. A four wheel drive station wagon. Classic. Oh, at least we're back to full health. Hey, some shields too. I need to remember that these boxes sometimes do have supplies in them. Those boxes, though. That would not be uh, conducive to my long term uh, health. Is that just a turret or is that a man on it? Please tell me that went where I wanted it to. Yes, it did. I like that it's a trank, but uh, it's a lot of blood for a tranquilizer. Trank juice that makes you bleed profusely. Could really go for a soda right now. Delicious. We actually got the one we wanted this time. You know, that's fair. They're probably like fucking elephant tranquilizer or something. Something of that strength. See nothing. You see nothing.
Uh, they're throwing in grenades over here. Gordon's so powerful, he would be the stand. He would be the stand user and the stand. Why don't you uh, walk close to those explosive barrels? Yeah. Damn, a bit too much drop on that. Go, my bug friends. Kill. Oh, damn. I actually missed him. Come here. No one expects the crowbar strength. It's a bit of juice back there. Probably juice. Alright. Fools. Shouldn't have left this truck out here. Come here. I know you want to turn around that corner. Oh shit, he has a he had the same idea. That's a lot of Tau Cannon ammo. So much supplies. Nope, we still got more. If only he did the HK slap, then it would be a perfect reload. Hmm. Right, I remember this part. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that's not very nice of you. Eat 50 cal, you son of a bitch! Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Now we just take a dive into the lake. Don't remember. We need to activate both of these. Ow, I forgot there's another one in there. Just got my ass ate.
Okay, looks like we just needed to activate the one. Where is he? There he is. That was pretty close. A little closer than I would have liked. Time to get the suck. Onwards. To the Lambda Complex. Sand crabs. I think I heard another one just dig its way out. I heard the sound at least. Hmm. Do we pick hole number one or hole number two? We'll go with hole number two. I'm feeling spicy today. Got the be the big iron loaded and ready. Soon. Our battle shall be legendary. Oh, some juice. Delicious. Damn, Gordon, you're short. I forget short- uh, Gordon's a short king. And also, I guess this door doesn't work. Just keep moving, Gordon. Just keep moving. You shall not scream at me today. Five foot eight versus five foot seven. Nah, I bet Gordon's like a five foot four. I bet he's an actual short king. How dare they? Unless. Maybe they just covered it up, but no. Lots of ammo. I think they even gave me some grenades. No. 
Oh, I know what they gave me grenades for. Yes. The best kind of grenades. Ones that can fit in the grenade tube. Well, thankfully, my height doesn't start with a five. It starts with a four. I forget if this is actually hit scan. I think in Half Life 2, this becomes not hit scan. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they actually turn into a proper projectile travel speed in the second game. Where? Whom? Am I blind? Probably. Yep. I don't know what that did, but I pushed the button. I feel like someone just tried to shoot at me. There's still someone alive in this little room. Yep. You know what? You're getting the crowbar. Come here. Sometimes you gotta establish dominance with the crowbar. Oh shit, you did? You need to stream that for me. 100%, I need to watch you playing that. I saw... I literally finally decided to look into Black Myth Wukong the other day, one hour before the game released. Saw the trailer and was like, yeah, I need to play this. So yeah, I, I, I definitely want to watch you play some of that. Right, can we get through this minefield without exploding? <laughs> the answer is probably not. Yes, yeah, so you get to play as Monkey. Also, I've been recently informed of a Lego show called Lego Monkey Kid. And Wukong, obviously being the main character, he's also voiced by Goku. He's, he's literally the same voice actor as, as uh, English Goku, and I love it. Woo! Thread the needle. Oh, don't land on it. Thank Christ. Where's the hole in the fence? Ow. <laughs> Shit. Oh. You know what? Maybe we want to back up a little bit more for this. There we go. Uh, I think you're right. Um, there was... I forget the name of the comic, but there was an old comic Toriyama did with, like, uh, a young-looking Sun Wukong. And I, th I think they... I think he literally called him Sun Goku. I think. Oh, I didn't know there were more mines on the other side of that fucking fence. Uh, we got through it with all our limbs intact. It's fine. But yeah, I, I need to check out that Lego Monkey Kid show because hearing Wukong with the same voice as Goku is so fucking fitting. It's not something I realized I needed. Those were the Harriers we saw the model of earlier. What a view, by the way.
Oh shit, I did not look before I left. Ow. Who needs shins? Oh, thank god the bolt one-shots those things. Of course, they can rappel down the rope, but I can't climb up it. Sadness. Profound sadness. Well, shit. I thought it was a rope! I thought it was a rope. Just making sure no rocks are about to fall on me. You die. No, I convinced the jump. Shit. Crunch. All right, third time's the charm. God damn. Why is my aim so terrible? There we go. I don't think I got him. Stand still. Thank you. Hundred and twenty eight gigs. Good lord. That is a chunky game. You think I can shoot through these? How well did they make these hitboxes? Okay, he he fucked off. Alright, we're quick saving here. Don't fuck up the jump this time. There we go. Thank God, some health and, uh, and armor. The Western game dev been here moment. Please, fetch me a Western audience, please. I heard the Black Myth Wukong already has like 2.2 million players, but people are speculating most of those players are, are Chinese, which, I mean, fair, it's, it is made by a, a Chinese company. And you know, that does definitely seem like a game the Chinese would vibe with. It also explains the really weird fucking rules that they've put up for, uh, for streaming the game. So they're just not mentioning anything political, or about the Chinese government, or about COVID-19. What was it? What was another one? No female... No feminist propaganda. That was another one. Some very weird guidelines for streaming the game. I keep getting nervous when I see those rocks falling. I do not want... To get a concussion. I'm hit. You know you're fucked when the crowbar comes out. I'm sure you're wondering, why are they giving us all these rockets? Where's the turret? 
right there. This is what I think of this turret. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you got thingies next to you. Okay, that, that did not go as smoothly as I thought it would. There's our rocket launcher. Our beautiful, laser-guided rocket launcher. They put this on... Is it three? Yeah, they put this on three. Alright, you son of a bitch. There you are. There was some more juice back there. Let's let's top off with what we can before we move forward. Uh, lots lots of cheese. Sh uh, shredded bacon. Put some cheese and some shredded bacon on it. Never actually had it with bacon, but I've always wondered, or I've always suspected it would be very good. That's fair. You should try making uh, twice-baked potatoes. Uh, those are my favorite version of baked potatoes. Not feeling meat, he says, then says you're gonna do tuna. I mean, fair enough. But still, funny. Well, I'm glad I quick saved. <laughs> I am glad I quick saved. Fucking rock. Oh, shit. Overcorrected. Like a piccanini? I don't know what that is. What what that? God damn it. These little jumping puzzles can be the bane of my existence, because I overcorrect. You have a lot of control while you're still in the air. There we go. Just not. I just need to not overcorrect. Tactical head cramps. Okay, yeah, that is exactly what twice-baked potatoes are, except, uh, we haven't actually done them with bacon. And I bet it would be amazing with bacon. We've just never had the bacon on hand to actually put it in. But yeah, twice-baked potatoes. Big good. Best baked potato. Worth the extra effort. Poke our heads out. What do we got to deal with here? Maybe turn off the flashlight. Damn, I wanted to hear your conversation. That's a fucking Abrams! 
Hey, yo, so I forgot we fight an Abrams right here. I thought it was like a Bradley. <laughs> I definitely want to try it. I feel like the Baku to make it even better. I was just... I, I've become less and less of a fan of, of American bacon. It's just so fatty. And un unless, unless it's actually cooked to the point where it's crisp, then I'm not a big fan of, like, the chewiness. Un unless the American bacon's nice and crispy, uh, uh, I... I don't enjoy it nearly as much. I have been eating a shitload of Canadian bacon lately, though, because I make these- I make my breakfast sandwiches constantly. Let's take a look at the station wagon. Ah, uh, yeah, there's your problem. You paid for the low te uh, you you paid for the low resolution undercarriage. What a tool. There's the Bradley. Or sort of Bradley. It's I think it's got a Bradley turret. Blows up all the same. <laughs> I, I really want to try British bacon. You know what? <laughs> I decided that I did not want to deal with you two. That's why I love the underbarrel grenade launcher. For when you really just can't be bothered. Okay, I'm guessing that's the way to go. Any goodies around here? Nah. If we ever meet up, Charlie, or if I ever go over to, uh, to Britain, ma make me some piccanini. Please. I, I humbly request the piccanini. <laughs> True. That would be a real Bradley moment. Ah, have you, uh... I assume you fought your fair share of Bradleys in War Thunder. I assume that's where the hatred of those missiles comes from. Oh. Oh, that's a minefield. I have a good habit of just running into a minefield without realizing. Shoot these. Yeah. It's a bit hard to see the crosshair when you're aiming at the sand. It kind of blends in. I think we're clear. Running low on a, we're running a little low on nine mil, but we've got a full backpack of twelve gauge. 
Where's this 20 gauge? Charlie, you know if the Spaz 12 is 12 gauge or 20 gauge? I, I assume 12 gauge because of the 12 in the name. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna make it, buddy. Oh. Uh, let's see, aim pretty high. Oop. I'll take that med kit, you don't need it anymore. Okay. Thank God for fucking easy weapon naming schemes. It's clear a bit of a path. Or Japan, for that matter. Charlie, what are your thoughts on the Type 94? Mm, sounds like a spicy fence. <laughs> oh shit. Where? Ah. You know what? Here's how much I hate you. There we go. I was gonna say, where's the power switch for this shit? It's right here. <laughs> Very silly, Charlie. Your teacher asks you for an M1, but you hand him the Abrams instead of the pencil. You're heading for the Lambda Complex, aren't you? I was heading there myself until I wound up here and, well, I simply lost my nerve. Take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to wait out the catastrophe in here. If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, for all our sake, proceed with extreme caution. Lost his nerve, extreme caution? It can't be that bad, right? It is that bad. I love how they give me extra explosives here. As if I'll be able to use them in this place. Hmm. Am I missing something or do I actually need to go that way? Oh god, okay. What if we jumped off of this thing? Maybe hopefully don't hit our heads. Shit. Oof. Ugh. Everything's fine, everything's fine. We're all fine here. Oh, they make the ceiling so low. There we go. Oi! Cease. Oh yeah, in case you thought that shooting off your gun might be safe in here at all. Nope. This is, a uh, crowbar time. Oh, that's just kind of diabolical. Hold on. Really? I can't pick these up? And that's what happens if you set off a single explosive. The whole building goes up. Okay. Is there anything? Can we grab this barrel? Aha! Woo! 
that was, that was a, little, that was a little spooky. Not gonna lie. The horrors aren't over yet. I think we want to drop down here. Hmm. We need to get into here. Drop down. I'm trying to think what the best course of action is. Yeah, I can. Okay. Ooh, that was, uh... That was close. I didn't see that one. <laughs> Shit. Just a few traps. You know, maybe, maybe one or two traps. I'm gonna try this route again. Instead, we're gonna go around the side. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't you fucking do it! Wow! The sabotage! The head crab sabotage! Oh, Jesus Christ. I might need to go back and clip that. That's pretty funny. What? Did my ass hair hit it? What? What did I touch? Shit. Damn it, Gordon. Your ass is too thick. It keeps setting off the trip mines. Uh, maybe. Okay, that was time that was entirely us. Oh, uh, I forgot how annoying this section can be. He's got that little bit of a slide to him. He doesn't stop immediately. Is that an open door? That is an open door. Maybe we go this way. Oh, okay. Think this is the way to go. Hopefully. Yes. Oh. Well, shit. I only realized after I pushed the button. And we're gonna shoot that box too for good measure. Please don't break now. Or please don't trigger. Oh, thank god. Alright, and now we've made it. And it for our reward, the hive hand. Stick, stick your hand in it, Gordon. You know you gotta. You know you gotta, Gordon. Put your hand in it.
And now we have a gun with infinite ammo, technically. Really, Charlie? Is that your is that your professional opinion? Nice. I thought my ass was cooked. I'd love if that stray one I'll fucking killed you. Way, buddy, but you're the best thing I've seen all day. I'll take that as a compliment. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> of course you would, Charlie. Of course. Who doesn't enjoy good fisting, am I right? Oh, pardon me, Doc. If only we could take some of those turrets with us. They'd probably be pretty useful if we could, uh, program them to not shoot at us. Buddy of mine were looking for some kind of weapons locked up around here. Say less, where? At least till we got ambushed. With any luck, we're actually say more. Here. Watch your head, Doc. We're full up on towel cannon ammo, yeah. The Manta! Shit. Oh shit. I have no idea if that's doing anything- Oh, it did! Tau Cannon, pretty good at taking out vehicles. Good to know. Covers for, uh, covers for cowards. <laughs> you alright there? Probably got a few holes in you. Alright, I think if we keep this guy alive, he'll, uh, He'll get us into that weapons lockup. Here, let me get out of your way. I need to see if there's a toggle sprint, dude. I really need to see if there's a toggle sprint. Let's see. The toggle crouch. Bindings. Don't think there's a toggle sprint. Rip my pinky. Oh. Okay. Unintentionally figure out another good way to deal with these things, I think. Or not. Fair enough. Rocket it is, then. Now about that weapons lockup. Uh, totally wasn't my fault. Definitely not.
Thank God Barney didn't come into work today. Okay, that just leads back to the garage. What a nightmare. I'd like to get my hands on the guy responsible. Freeze! Whoa, whoa, hold your fire! Jackson? Good God, man, how many lives do you have? <laughs> None if it wasn't for my new buddy here. Hey, buzz us in, will you? Oh, yeah. Maybe you should put that away, instead of waving it around. <laughs> Holy shit. Oof. Oh, not bad, huh? Not bad. You hit the mother load. <laughs> I will be taking as much as I can physically carry. Yeah, I'm not glad to see a familiar face. Let's say you, me, and the doc here grab what we can and get the hell out of mm. Dodge. Mm. Well, we should probably wait a while. Take a load off. We are full up on everything. I need to look into what happens during blue shift. So I guess Barney did actually make it into work, maybe a little late, but uh pretty sure he's who you play as in blue shift. Exactly, they even got Gatorade. They literally had everything in that storeroom. Uh, no, actually. The moment you get off the tram, like, before you you technically enter the part of the facility you work, um, the guard that lets you in remarks how, uh, Barney didn't come into work today. And he, he said something about his bar tap catching up with him. But I'm pretty sure you play as him in blue shift, so I, th I think he does get into work eventually. Just a little late. A little late to the party. Oh! Excuse me? How rude. Your shoulder should not exist in Oh, that was a different one. I was about to say, that should have obliterated your shoulder. That's true, it, it could be a bit of a difference. Oh. What the fuck? Uh... Game? That's not me. Uh... I'm not... Strafing. Game, are you okay? Oh, what in the chicken fried fuck is happening? I hope my computer- I hope my keyboard isn't broken. We might have to- Okay. Okay, we're good? We're good. That was a very odd glitch. Where- which way did we come from? I think we dropped down in here. Yeah. That was a very odd glitch that I don't think I've ever gotten before. Well, that went a little cleaner than last time. Clean for me, not for them. Okay, got a quick save here, because this is shortly before I got that weird glitch. I see Gatorade up there. Oh shit. Slipper slippery. Ah, uh, we didn't need that Gatorade anyways. Can I blow these up? I've never tried. No, it's on fire. Oh, I can't. That's good to know. Ba 
battle of the hive hands, let's go. I am the superior hive hand user. Wow, your aim is terrible with those things. Alright, what am I firing this at? Ah! You know, you gotta give that hev this hev suit some credit. You can take an Abrams cannon shell to the face. This hev suit really do be made out of some crazy shit. Maybe it's maybe it's got some ERA in it too. Probably definitely has some sort of ERA in it. That is true. Real hazardous environment moment. Oh, that's a lot of you. Any more? Doesn't look like it. The hev suit? Nah, the, uh, the juice is, like, it powers the armor component of it. I'm not even gonna pretend to understand how it really works. But all I know is that the juice that we pick up, the Gatorade, it powers, it powers whatever gives it armor. And that's, uh, that's about the extent of my knowledge. I mean, I guess? Morphine administered. I guess my brain just never really thought of it like a force field, but I- I guess you could construe it as such? I should, I should go looking on the wiki after this. So I'm curious. I want to know how how head suit work. How how do juice give armor? <laughs> Fair enough. Harden armor energy shield system. So it is a shield, okay. We charge it. I see. So it literally is a sort of force field. Hardened armor energy shield system. So it's it's both. It's got a bit of both. Surprised you live.
go with the right way? I think we just... I think we're backtracking. Yeah, we're definitely backtracking. Or if, if I jump onto this, does it give me any more height? Not really. Okay, so what are we missing here? What super obvious thing am I missing? I guess we just head out here. It's aliens versus the uh, military. Who will win? That's a very bloody crossbow. Okay. Got a quick save here. I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. Damn, Gordon. You need to lay off the fucking... You need to lay off the snacks. Definitely adds a few pounds. Hmm. Where's the real door? Ah, I see a ladder. Sorry, my friends. Hey, we got plenty of friendos of our own now. See nothing. You see nothing. Now. Hold this position. Shouldn't have disturbed a Gordon in the vents. You fool! Did he actually? He actually got the grenade off. What a mad lad! Is it really just the two of them? Huh. There's the other guys. You're lucky that doesn't explode. You're very goddamn lucky. Never know when one of these crates might have some goodies in him. He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls. At this point, they're really just trying to do whatever they can to ruin my day. Okay. What does it want us to do now? I don't think we can actually go that way. Hmm. Perhaps. 
Parkour where? And onto what? Ah! I think I see the parkour I need to partake in. Huzzah! Parkour! Fuck this. I don't need no goddamn turret to take on these guys. We have been rather looking forward to this analysis. Oh dear! Delicious shells. Well, the the, uh, the analysis video that we were just talking about, or the one I asked him to send you yesterday, or uh, two days ago. Maybe it wants me to blow this open. Yes, yes it does. Ah. Oh shit. Well, back to regular grenades then. A little chuckle amongst the lads. I kinda wanna just watch this play out, I'm not gonna lie. This is very entertaining. Damn! Aliens versus, uh, APC. Who wins? Yes, actually. Group up together like that. That's perfect. I could not resist that. That was too juicy not to take the opportunity. I'd say that was a good use of a rocket. Checking around for any supplies. Oh, if only I could just pick this up. That'd be amazing. Gordon with a handheld 50 cal. Yes, cracking open a cold boy with the ones. My favorite version of that meme. I hear us big stompy boy. What do we have here? Confidential. Faculty roster. I see it. Boring. 
I was hoping for government secrets. Quiet. Too quiet. Damn. He really just got JoJo, didn't he? What if you had an eye emergency? Keep emergency stations free of hazards. Oh, it's like one of the little things that you run to and rinse your eyes out. I get it. I was trying to figure out what I was looking at in that poster. Do it. Wow, that thing does like no damage. What are you using? Those, those shells are not very high powered. Ah, I didn't even need to use a rocket. Fair enough. Thank you, Manta Ray. Yeah, pretty goddamn slow for a tank show. Ooh, some funky music, I dig it. I did not expect you to launch me that direction. ankle biters. Maybe he was using, uh, uh, one of those, one of those ATGMs that you shoot from the barrel of the tank. I don't know if those have a specific name, or if Abrams were ever even designed to use such ammunition. You know what I'm talking about though, right? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I only have four missiles. I think that took out both of them. Nice. Oh, no, it didn't. There we go. Ah. Were they used after the Soviet era, or did those sort of did it sort of die off? The practice of of shooting ATGMs from from the actual tank cannon. Because I feel like you really don't see that happen anymore. Ah. 
plenty of juice. That's fair. In the current conflict, they're probably definitely still using them. Hell, uh... Did you hear about the- there was an actual Stuka being used in the Battle of Kursk. Oh. How rude. Morphine administered. Well, at least he got what was coming to him. At least Karma got to him. You know, they're just running around, killing each other down there. I think it's just a- oh shit. Ow! Oh shit, I- I think a crawling one got me. Yes, like, the current Battle of Kursk, there was a goddamn Stuka being used. You know what, where- where was my last save? 53... Let's go back two minutes. See if I can avoid, uh, getting grenaded. There we go. I've been seeing a lot of memes coming about out about that uh about the Battle of Kursk too, such as uh not bored in time uh, not bored in time to drive a martyr at the Battle of Kursk, born just in time to drive a martyr at the Battle of Kursk. Might as well make good use of these shotgun shells. We're almost always full on them. Thought he was still alive. Wheel. Where must we insert this thing? Ah. Mm, okay, now we can get into that pipe. So it got the- Oh! Thank you for looking the, into that for me. I thought they'd actually just brought out a honest-to-goodness Stuka from, like, a fucking war museum. Ow, my shin. It, it really- it, you could easily see them doing that, too, is, is the thing. That's why I believed it so readily. But it's just a drone with said nickname, I see. I see. Okay. Hello. Don't that beat all? You're Dr. Freeman, aren't you? Finally, someone that actually recognizes me. Is, you just ran into the only guy for about half a mile who has Lambda codes. Bad news is these guys are blocking the freaking goal line. Sorry, I was taking a sip here. Let's see. Nice and quiet. Ah. They look distracted enough. Quiet isn't exactly in my resume. I'll have you know. We could do this quietly, but where would the fun in that be? 
touch this. Can I do anything with that? Ooh. Boop. <laughs> Loud works too. Jesus. I'd say that was a good use of a rocket. Uh, I love explosives in this game. Where'd the guard go? I lost him. Shit, where did he go? Hmm, probably over near the green lights, if I were to guess. Yep. You okay there? You, you look like your eyes are kind of glazed over. Okay, you already put the code in for me. Thank you! Okay, uh... Security booth. Down and to the right. Got it. Please don't get blown up. Jesus. Not how I thought my day was gonna go. Come on, buddy, get into that goddamn security booth. Easy peasy. Get your heart pumping. After you, good sir. <laughs> I tell you what, that could have been a lot worse. Wait, what? I don't think he made a chat. Unfortunately, I don't think he's making it out of this one. He's giving him some quick triage info. Hmm. I think he bled out or went into shock. And that's why. You bring if you're going out somewhere and you have a med kit, make sure it's got a tourniquet in it. You never know what could happen. You never know when you might need a tourniquet. I won't get my hands on a They they've So there's this how how would I put it? It's called trauma gel. And it's it's basically a real life impact that they that has already been a thing for animals for a while, but uh, they've they've made a version and approved it for uh, for human use. Yes, uh, we are currently running right now from a very large man. Yep. Oh, 
I think I got a bomb target for you. Okay. Oh, thank God he actually shows him. Let me shoot. How do I fire? There we go. So, he got him. I don't, I don't even remember it hitting him, but fair enough. Piece of cake. What's that? Do I need to hit the explosive bit there? The shake isn't helping with things. Wait a second. I remember what we need to hit. I do like that you can rapid fire the mortar. One Freeman made entrance. Ow. Oh, there's a ladder, of course. Just minor damage to the shins, it's fine. Come on, Gordon, crank that thing. This is fucking falling apart, dude. We should keep moving. Not only are we way behind enemy lines, we just missed the last flight out of here. I don't think they were gonna pick us up anyway. I sure hope you brought some backup, Point Dexter, because we're gonna need it. <laughs> I am the backup. Let's get the hell out of here. Right, I've got a cheeky little plan. You need to stay right here for the moment. I'm not going anywhere. Using the brain. Oh shit. Alright, since this guy wants to be so aggressive. Oh, well, and he still died. I think we're good now. Getting a crowbar to the face. Come here. Into the hole.
there might be more turrets beyond this one. Oh. So they're waterproof. Good to know. Looks like we're heading back into the sewers. How much you want to bet there's a big boy in, the, in these waters? Yep. Pretty hard to see under the water, too. Just don't get crushed by the giant gear, Gordon. Gatorade down here. Excellent. Hey. Unstick me. There we go. Okay, where's the turret? Let's just have the revolver out. Jesus. Thank God for all that Gatorade. with supplies. Don't remember why, and that kind of spooks me. You can always expect something spooky after they give you enough loot like that. So we're going this way. Ah, I see in the way out. A little bit of parkour. Two for one, not bad, not bad. takes do you have? There we go. You know, if I saw a man in a hev suit just destroy our tank like that, I think I'd give up. Especially after I see him pull out the crossbow afterwards.
You get in the crowbar. Come here. More, huh? I hear him. There he is. Alright, good shit. Oh, the Black Mesa coffee mug. Sadly, it's got no coffee in it. Oh no, I hear little babies. Ah. What a way to go. Would have been unfortunate if he still managed to hit me there. Saw some rockets fall out of that crate, but we already have full rockets. The Dark Descent. Oh, got a couple clicks of the Geiger counter. Ah, that would be why. Ooh. Spicy, spicy avocado. Oh shit. Get zapped, idiot. Hmm, a vent up there. Me thinks we'll be taking the bed. Oh. I see you turning to look at me. I don't think so. Get bead, idiot. I do quite like the bees. And it's hard to argue with infinite ammo. Glad I didn't break my shins there. I see that health pack. Give it here. Oh shit. He's a cake. Uh. Considering how long, so in in at near the end of the of the original game, you go to a completely different planet, but in Black Mesa they completely reworked it and made it so much longer. So because of how long Zen itself is, I'd say we're maybe a third, if not a quarter, of the way through this game. We still got a ways to go.
Zen itself is going to take me at least two to three streams. Easily. I'm, my guess is leaning more towards three. Zen's a chunky uh, section. Oh, yeah. This is easily, like... Like a 12 to 16 hour game, I'd say. Oh, wait. We're already in the Lambeth Court. Okay, so we're... I'd say we're about at the halfway point. Nice. After stream, we, we might need to hang out so I can watch you play it. But yeah, uh, think, rethinking it, I'd say we're about at the halfway point for this game. I didn't realize we'd already gotten to the lamb decor. The head cramps, they await me. Do a spin. He dancing. Oh shit. Damn, the revolver's nice against those things. I think the revolver does the same damage as a, a shotgun blast that hits all the pellets. So, you know, pretty damn strong. Now, if you could just give me some more magnum rounds, I'd be a happy boy. I think, uh, I think we might actually be able to get to Zen today. That'd be a great stopping point as well. Yeah, I do believe there's assassins in here. Assassino! Has 12 go burr. Stop flipping and jumping around so much. Died so hard they clipped through a wall. Uh, I I hate dying so hard that I clip through a wall. Just looking around for any more goodies. Let's open up these crates. Hey. See, one of them had some Gatorade in it. Really? 
You really want to fight me on the stairs, huh? I mean, your funeral. Come here, I want to give you the crowbar treatment. Aw, oh, you're too fast. Sadness. I really wanted to crowbar her. Wonder what the hell that noise was. Maybe it's just the sound of the door opening. Gave away your positioning by shooting at me before you turned the corner. Not the smartest move, I must admit. I think we're here. Well, mostly. Still in the outer section. Yeah, that's definitely a grenade moment. God. He's trying to body me. I got one of these too. Think you're think you're scary because you got bees? Oh shit. Empty mag. Whoever sent that ladder down, thank you. I think the scientists in Lambda Core are watching my moves. Yep. Hello. I apologize, Dr. Freeman, but I'm sure you understand that I couldn't risk opening that door until you had scoured the area. Understandable. I'm pretty good at that, anyways. This is the last entrance to the Lambda Complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. When we realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who would stay behind and let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. That's My rough, buddy. Colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda reactor. Waiting for you, I mean. The reactor is shut down right now. But you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those, but I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. I do be the Gord Freem. Are you supposed to, like, let me in through another Would door, or what? notify me if they see a bathroom, please? <laughs> Just do your business in the corner, I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah. Were you in weapons research too? Oh. Built the gluon gun, yes, give! I just can't bring myself to use it on another living creature. Step aside, old man, give it here. It doesn't appear that you have any trouble killing things. You can take her with you. I downloaded a mod that made this thing look even more beautiful. BAM! Friendship ended with Tau Cannon. Glue on gun is my new best friend. Should we have a secondary demonstration? What is that sound? Boop. Fantastic. Hmm. 
All right, now let me through. I'm sure you'll have plenty of opportunities to test her in the field, but you can practice in the shooting range if you'd like. Is this not the way to go? Ah, I see. But yes. Blue on gun. Quite possibly my favorite gun in this game. It's literally, uh, the Ghostbusters weapon. Screaming dogs ain't an issue. Wardagons take a little longer. Ain't no problem. Worry about the structural the structural integrity of this place. Exhibit A. I think we need to get the Lambda Reactor started back up. I think that's our first goal here. I heard something else teleport in. Maybe it's up there on the upper level. We have to come back here later? I don't see a way up at the moment. Ah, maybe we have to go down instead of up. Hmm, right. more yeah little bastard I think we've got to find a way to get the extra coolant bumped into here. Oh dear. That's why I was stuck. Is 
There's a lot of barnacles in here. Speaking of which, put me down. Cheap shot, buddy. Clear out the barnacles before we do this. Actually, I think that was the last one. Good. Nope, one more. There we go. Just in time. Right, I think there's one more reactor we gotta do that to. This thing's got a nice spread, as long as you keep the crosshair perfectly centered. The lunga. we were earlier. I think we're just leaving. I think we're heading to the next section. Damn, we're actually running low on shotgun shells. I didn't think I'd see the day. stock of what we have. We need some magnum rounds, that's for sure. speed ahead into the next load screen oh hello ow how dare you fucking sneeze on me juice in the corner over there. I think a head crab missed me and, yep, fell all the way down there. What an idiot. Get bamboozled. Little Magnum Browns! How many? Enough for two magazines. Well, two. What? What you call it? <laughs> Not a magazine. Two cylinders worth. I 
I guess this is our way in. Ah, that was the door override. Cease. Release me. Kill me or release me, parasite. Nice. Finished both of them off with the last shell. Okay, let's do what we did in the last room. Let's murder all of these barnacles. We can run around freely. Did I not press the... What's going on? Oh! Right. We need to head down into the thing and open up the coolant port. Probably would have been more ammo efficient to switch to the Glock for that, but cool. There we go. Now the coolant can flow. Maybe we, uh, maybe we swap back to the gluon gun for a bit. We're running kind of low on ammo for everything else. Alright, come at me, fuckers. Nothing, huh? Okay. Makes my job easier. Now we just gotta skedaddle back onto the main section. Meet again, head crap. Oh, I think he fell off. Unlucky. Oh, there's some juice up there. Actually, we are full on juice. We're good. Where'd you even come from? Okay, now that both the tanks are working and the pumps, we can head to the core. Which I think is this way? Or is this the way we came from? One system, cool one system. Trying to remember. Whoa. Head over here real quick. I think. Oh no, we're going the right way. Right, hive hand, infinite ammo. Give it, give it over. Give it here.
Oh, that's why they're curving. There's a like, Vortigon up there. Oh, hi. Why don't you shoulder check me? Illegal. Ow. Oh, be careful, Gordon. Okay. Damn, almost out of shells. We're not out of options. I think we're descending into this, uh, into this reactor here. Oh, shit. Thank god it was full of coolant. Mm-mm. Tastes like blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers. Actually, will it let me get up here? It will. They even gave me a grenade for the underbarrel grenade launcher. How thoughtful of them. Alright, I believe we've made our way to the teleportation labs. Yep, this is definitely the teleportation lab. That's my answer to that question. For that predicament. You get a grenade, and you get a grenade. Alright, you get the crowbar. <laughs> crowbar prevails above all. Hey, more Magnum rounds, too. We're actually full up on Magnum ammo. There we go. Turned on the teleporter matrix thingy. Where things get a little spooky. Come on, turn off, turn off, turn off! Ow! Let me in. Was this just for a bit of ammo? I think it was. Oh shit. Gotta be quick. Not being quick enough. Come on, let me in. Ah! Pain. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. How far could we make it? <laughs> well, we made it further than I thought we would. You know what? It's just some ammo if we go that way. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that one doesn't last, or that one turns back on very quickly. Haha, get fucked by the railing. Okay, let it do it one more time. Which way is the way forward, and which way is the side path? Ooh. Another grenade for my under-barrel grenade launcher. Most excellent. What a thrill. point of coming down here. I guess nothing. Hmm. We're nearly to the annoying part of the uh, teleportation lab. Because if you thought that was the annoying part, you're dead wrong. You'll very soon see what I mean. Freaking zoo up ahead, Doc. Tread lightly. Walk softly, and carry a big gun. Oh, there he is, chat! Even got his little suitcase. What are you running from? It's just a little old me. goodies around here? Maybe this is just- maybe this is just an alternate path to take. Orb. Oh, I think I know the purpose of it- of this. Showing you all the extra goodies you can get if you pick the right teleport orb. Quickly check down here. Yes, this this is the annoying part of the teleporter labs. Okay, not sure what the point of that was. Okay. We make a quick save here, and now we start guessing. Shit. Okay. It looked like we were on the right track. Jump into two. Jump into four. But we wait. Is that the one it takes me to? We're about to find out. And now. 
Aha! Now I have no idea what the next one to pick is. So we got seven, eight, and nine. Well, nine looks like it's sparking. So obviously we're gonna take nine, right? I think I just got atomized. So that's what nine does. Seven? Progress. We're making progress. I guess there's no way into that middle bit. Oh! I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Is it because these things... They get squished? Yeah, I must have just gotten squished. Ah! I think I understand the assignment now. There's the other override. Huzzah. I don't think there's one to pick from this time. We just we just go. All right, that wasn't nearly as annoying as I remembered. Hazardous materials handling phase. I like handling hazardous materials. Right. We get we give it a second, and then, then they turn off the turret. We're just gonna wait right here and be nice and uh and patient. I'm pretty sure that thing shoots at me. Yep. Could y'all maybe turn off the turrets? Thank you. You finally found us. So this is the guy, huh? Thought you'd never make it. Oh, nonsense, Hunter. Nothing stands in the way of our errant knight in shining high impact reactive armor. Hell yeah. Guess not. Right then. What a sore way, loser. Demon, we've been expecting you. You know, he's probably just under a lot of stress. You know, I I could understand. I could understand being sort of stressed. What you see before you is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way. Before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. These readings have given us reason sure to suspect scratching your an head with your gun. There. Maybe Created put your and maintained gun away first. by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. I'm sure that you will know it when you see it. I am loath to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it. Killing things is my special team. No ifs, ands, or asses about it. Um, uh, of course, you owe us nothing, Dr. Freeman. But you've come this far. You know as much about these creatures as anyone. Enough to know that if you don't wipe it out, well. Let's put it this way. There ain't gonna be much for you to come home to. Yes. You like moonwalking so there, buddy? Willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. Dr. Steinman will open the gates for you. And don't let Hunter's brash attitude frighten you. We've all been a wee bit wrangled since the incident. He'll equip you with the proper armaments for the task ahead. Do hurry. Yeah, Hunter's all right in my books. And for this so. reason... You're actually gonna go through with this, huh? You're braver than you look. This here's my personal collection. And here's why he's all right in my books. Thank you. 
Just promise me you'll put it to good use. Oh, I very much will. Don't you worry about that, my friend. All right, we're full on everything. Dr. Freeman, so glad you made it. I have one final accoutrement for you. This is the long jump module. I created it expressly to Yeah, Stefan, and speaking of fine additions to our collection. Long jump module. I certainly hope you've received long jump training. Nope. Because once you're in Zen, you will need it. Right, I remember the crossbow being pretty good for this section. Let's give the long jump module a, a test. <laughs> I'm very much a fan of the long jump module. And yes, it is directional. Okie dokie, start him up. You got it. The beam until I give the okay. Understood? I will begin. Here we go, chat. Beginning of the end. Yes, Gordon. Admire the crossbow well you can. in the head, it's a one-shot. Problem is, my aim. I don't think I want to pull that out quite yet. being shot at. Okay. Portal's ready. Let's get the hell out of here. Through the Stargate.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're not in Kansas anymore. Yes, pick up the crowbar. Welcome to Zen, the border world. And that is our final destination. Easily my favorite looking area in this whole game. But we've only just now reached the halfway point. The other half of the game is basically this place. But yeah. Now that we've gotten to Zen, I do believe this is an excellent place to end things for now.